two things you probably mess up in life, but the good news is you can improve it. There are three main um, kind of structures. You have your beliefs and values, and then you have your state. I want to read a quote to you. The quality of your emotions equals the quality of your life. Think about that for a second. If somebody is constantly in a state of anger, they live an angry life. If somebody's in a constant fear state or anxiety state, they live a fear or anxiety ridden life. Conversely, if somebody is happy, they live a happy life. See, where, we, where our emotional home is, is the quality of our life, because we keep going back there. In all scenarios, whether it's a positive or a negative, which are also beliefs, because the world around us is happening for us, not to us. So we get to choose how we take each individual scenario. So when we're looking at beliefs and values, they control most aspects of our life. A belief is a feeling of certainty, a certainty that something is going to happen. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy because beliefs were, think of it like a map. Uh, we have a starting location, which is where we are right now, to our destination. If we say we're going to Chicago, that's our endpoint. Same with beliefs. If we believe that something is going to happen, it will, because our mind is going to find a way to navigate it. The mind hates being wrong, so it's going to do everything to protect ourselves from being wrong, so it's going to find a way to that destination. So there's really kind of two types of beliefs. You got your global beliefs, which affect everything in life, like I'm not good enough, money is evil, all people are blank, or all this type of people are blank. So when you meet that person or meet that scenario, you automatically have decided because that's your belief structure. Whereas a rule is going to be like, if this, then that. So if I encounter a jelly donut, I'm going to eat it because I'm overweight, right? Because, so all these things are controlling your life. And then the value side of the house is emotions that are the most important to you. This is kind of our emotional home section. So we have towards emotions and away emotions, or towards values and away values. Towards values are like success, love, joy, peace, adventure, security, passion. Away emotions are failure, rejection, frustration, anger, boredom, depression, loneliness. So whichever values you have at the top of your list is kind of the map itself. It's how you're going to get to that point. And if you're always in a state of, say, failure, but you're also valuing success, you're going to have a hard time because success requires failure. Failure is the process of learning. So if you're failure risk, but motivated to have success, right, it's going to be a very difficult process for you. So you have to analyze which values are you living in, which values are most important to you, and then what beliefs are either helping or hindering you. And then there's state. State has three main components. Focus, where your intentions go, your energy follows. For example, if I, say, have a bee sting on my hand, and I'm going to focus all my energy on that bee sting, it's going to hurt more and more and more and more. For mosquito bite, it might be a little bit better of an example. But let's say you sit, focus on something else, then the, bee, then the mosquito bite goes away. You forget to even itch it at that point. Focus is like that. So if you focus on the pain of the scenario, if you focus on the happiness of the scenario, or even better, the gratitude of the scenario, because when you're in a state of gratitude, you really can't be the negative emotions because gratitude is so powerful. So where your intentions go, your energy follows. And then there's language and meaning. Whatever values that we attach to the words that we use also control our emotions. So when you're thinking of, I'm always angry, well, right, language then you start applying that anger to everything around you. So you can pattern interrupt these things. Instead of saying, oh, that frustrates me and I'm so angry, say, hmm, that's interesting. Totally different, right? You're meeting it with a different meaning. Meaning has an energy, meaning has emotion. And motion is what drives us. 
our brain gives us the, the logic reasons, but the heart gives us the motivation to go and take action. So if we think about transformational vocabulary, turning those words into better meaning words, instead of saying, I'm frustrated, say, that's interesting, or that's a neat problem to go solve, or overwhelm. Instead of saying overwhelm, say, I'm so happy that I can put so much on my plate to go accomplish. These little tweaks make massive differences in your life. And then there's the physiology. Our bodies are amazing machines, but they need to move. Our lymph system doesn't have muscles in them. They're pushed because of our movement. They push because we're, we're moving our bodies. And it, we're sitting all day because of our modern lifestyle. So our bodies can't function the way they used to be able to naturally function. So we have to get up, move, get your heart pumping. This is where we can artificially like go to the gym, for example, or get a rebounder. That's the kind of like half trampoline just to get our bodies just moving. So if you start with physiology, that gets the body amped up. Movement equals energy. Movement energy equals emotion. So you can transform your emotions just by physiology. Language and meaning. Combine that with actually putting the right words to get the best outcomes. And then focus. Make sure your mind is focused on what you actually want versus the things that you don't want. And then you can all go back to the values and your identity, your beliefs. Are you having the right destination? All of those combined can totally radically change your life. So I just got out of uh, Tony Robbins' uh, four-day class. It's 12 hours a day. It was just total craziness. Got tons of notes. Love to work with you. Um, share my notes if that's what you want. Message me if you're interested. Otherwise, have a great day.